Hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic. Very excited to be here to do another project with you. Uh, ordinarily, I use a number generator to choose the colors that I'm going to use for my project. I enter the parameters of one through, I'm up to 437 different colors. I enter the parameters into the number generator. I generate four different numbers for four different colors. Now I have the option to add additional colors, the embellishments, and I pick the project. I just have to use the four colors that are generated through the number generator. Now, should one or more of those colors do, not going to do anything, they're just ugly, no matter what I mix with it, it's not going to work with the other colors. If that's the case, I'll call a mulligan and I'll pull that color or colors and then I'll generate another number to replace the one that I pulled. This is uh, the method I came up with because I'm so indecisive about choosing colors or if the colors I pick are just boring, the same old thing, just not anything with zest, with pow, with something that's gonna stand out and say, wow, look at me, I'm beautiful. I mean, not that things are ugly, but they're just bleh, boring, something that the number generator has helped me with. It's came up, come up with some great color combinations and it's really made working with resin that much more fun. So, that's what I ordinarily do. But every now and then, I have a project in mind that I want to do that I was able to choose the colors on my own. Today is one of those days. Now, I just started this video with you guys, but I had it on time lapse. So, you didn't get to hear anything I said. I had already put in the chameleon flakes which these are chameleon flakes by let's resin they're violet blue i took a brush and i went on the inside of this is the jellyfish just for a little bit of pizzazz in there they're um i got them from amazon they're they're okay they're not bad to work with i put those on the inside on this the mold itself now i'm going to come in and do the petri method where you drop your colors, which I'm gonna do all blues, all these are alcohol inks from Let's Resin. And then, once you put your colors in, the blues, then you're gonna put white from Pinata, Blanco Blanco, on top of all the blues that you just dropped. And you're gonna repeat this, and it gives it a really great, beautiful effect. So, with that effect, and the uh, chameleon flakes that I've put on it, this should really, really have some pow to it. Something that will make me say wow. And I hope everyone else. I have poured my resin already. Again, I did all this on the previous video, but uh, you can't see it because it's in time lapse or fast forward or whatever. You can't understand what I'm doing. But my resin of choice is Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's VOC free, it's a one-to-one -one ratio resin, it cures clear, it's heat resistant up to 165 degrees, and one other really key factor is it's budget friendly. It really, really is. I order it five gallons at a time, there's always a $10 off coupon or 10% off, and if not, if you don't find one, give them a call, and they should give you one. I know they have for me in the past, and I don't see why they wouldn't, because they really want your business. So you see how great they are, too. Okay, so I've mixed that. Before I put any alcohol ink on it, I'm going to go ahead and add some, uh, use my torch on it to get rid of any bubbles that may have creeped up when we poured it. Okay, so now we've taking care of any bubbles that might be there. I'm gonna start dropping my inks. Here we go, first color is Midnight Blue. All of these are alcohol inks from Let's Resin. You just go through and drop them where you want to. 
these blues are gonna look great in the jellyfish, I believe. I made uh, two jellyfishes before, or is it jellyfish? Jellyfishes? I think it's jellyfish. This is turquoise, and it turned out really cute. It's kind of like the same uh, size as the octopus. And several people have done the octopus on here. I've done it myself. Very cute. Okay. Whoa. Not smart. Ugh. That's going to be a mess. Put him over there. All right. Now we're going with just blue. I'm going to get all this negative space. Moving right along, we have Azure. This one is Sapphire. This azure and uh, sapphire are pretty close in color. This is cerulean, cerulean. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. This looks like an ocean color. I was thinking I didn't really have an ocean blue in here. And I actually have one that is called ocean. We'll see what it looks like when I put on the white. All right. Now I'm going to use this. This is a marabou alcohol ink. I'm sorry. It's an alcohol ink by marabou. And it's the color rainbow. The only problem with these is they stink to high heaven. I mean, they are the stinky lewinky. Look at that. How pretty is that? Hmm. Oh. Maybe I didn't shake this well enough. Now we're going to come back with our Blanco Blanco, a.k.a. White. Go in and we cover all this up. Okay, I'm going to have to fill this one up, I think. I have to put you on hold to do that. All right, here we go back around. This is the Midnight.
and the white is going to push down these colors and give it that look on the inside where it's like swirling and just a beautiful effect. It's really kind of hard to explain, so you're going to have to wait till the end of the video to see it if you've never seen the Petri effect before. I think it's pretty cool myself. Okay, this is the blue. All these blues combining, combining, combining. Why does that word sound funny? These colors, once you combine them, ah, look, my fingers were just getting color free. Ah, that's what I get for not wearing gloves. Look, I just started getting the color back in my hands. Or getting the color off of my hands. I hate wearing gloves. But I hate having dirty looking fingernails too. Okay. Ugh. Look, this one's leaking too. Oh my goodness, look like Smurfette. Except I don't have blonde hair. I think there was a, a little girl that was a, a, a girl Smurf. Her name was Daisy, I believe. I really liked the Smurfs when I was growing up, y'all. I had my room done in the Smurfs and everything. I had the little collectible Smurfs. I still have them. I kept them. I just thought they were so cute. Okay. Go ahead and do the turquoise over here. Got a little cleaning to do on that lid. Alright, last blue this time around is Cerulean. Am I saying that right? Cerulean. I hope so, because I don't like to look ignorant. Or misspeak. pops. Mm -hmm. That one you don't screw off, Sam. I almost had a very big mess. Well, I don't know what it would have done. It just, I think it might have had an effect. Not so good effect. And the ball is getting stuck down there in the little, down here. The only thing I don't, well, that and the smell. What in the sugar pops? Mm -hmm. Can't get it out. Look, oh, I got it out. It's a little teeny tiny ball.
Let me try this again. I hear it go right back down in there. Okay, now we're going back around with the white. Oh, I think I might have to fill this up. I do. Sorry guys, it was like half full. Just talk amongst yourselves for a moment. This commercial will be over in just a moment. Sorry I wasn't prepared that I have a big bottle that I pour into this little bottle and the bottle itself you can't see through any longer. However, I should have been able to tell by the weight of it. But anyway, excuses, excuses. Here I am all ready to go with the white. This part right here is not covered that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do, but I have no choice because I have to cover that part. Piece. It's got silicone still sticking out. time around with the colors. That was cerulean. This just shook everywhere. Why, when the lid is closed, can it shake everywhere? Explain that to me. All over my shirt. Oh, and there goes my nails. Go ahead and do the turquoise. Oh yeah, the lids over here, all oh, yucky. This is the blue. Scissor. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. I believe from hearing other artists use it that I am saying it correctly. Midnight. Oops. Oops, sometimes these bottles are very hard to squeeze. All right, now we're just gonna come around with the rainbow and that'll be all of our colors, which is six, seven different colors. Oh, eight. There we go with the ball again. Oops, the only way I can get it to go is holding it sideways. That's okay. That's okay. 
All right, again, that's all of our colors in there. We did that the colors three times, the white twice. Now you do not want to use your heat, but you can use 99% or 100% isopropyl alcohol. Hopefully that's okay. Now, in about an hour, I can pick this up to put it on my resin curing plate, heating plate. So that's what I'll do. And this should be, I would say about four hours and I'll be back to you. This is a little thicker, so I'm not quite sure how long that's gonna take. And I just really thought of something. I hope it doesn't flash cure because it's so thick. Oh boy, I guess we'll see. All right gang, I'll be back. Hang tight, don't go anywhere. It's gonna be worth the wait, I believe. It's going to be worth it. Just hang tight. Good morning, everybody. I didn't come back to you last night. I just didn't make it. So I put our jellyfish on the resin cure and heat and plate. And I think it wasn't level. So I don't see any. I see a little bit that dripped out on, my, uh, on this thing. See how some of it dripped out? But it appears like it would be more because so much more is missing. But I don't know, maybe it evaporated or something. I don't know. But I was worried about the flash curing. Can you see this? I don't know if you can see the difference right here. Can you see that? I see it in the light right there. But I think this part flash cured and then this part did the rest of the curing on, with regular time. So let's see what the other side looks like. Uh oh. Look, this is spongy. What in the world? I think it's because it's, look, see that's spongy too. Look. <laughs> this is spongy yet jellyfish. I mean, it's cool. It'll work. It's a little spongy up here. But hey, it's jellyfied jellyfish. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. No idea. I mean, I understand why this flash cured, but this should have cured regularly or normally. So I don't know. But we have a jellyfish. Anyway, I'm gonna put a hanger on it. Let me show you how I do that. Uh oh. Let me grab them. Hold on. I took them out because I went to the craft show and I was afraid I had something that didn't have it on there rather than going through everything. I just grabbed it so I'd have it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our hangers. I just got these off of um, Amazon, of course. Grab one. What I like to do is flip it back and forth to make sure that it's Flippable. See, just do it like that. And I'm going to center it in the middle. And I take my UV resin, hold it down. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad squeezing this. Weak today. And just put a good amount back there. I have the UV light. And I'm just going to hold it on there. UV resin is really, really convenient in a lot of your resin projects. You'll find different ways that it's helpful. This is a perfect example. So I recommend it. I recommend UV resin and this is the resin UV resin I use. Honey, I can't tell you the name of it because it's in Chinese or Japanese or something from the Oriental uh, community. But you can recognize this picture. Just look on Amazon and you'll see it. This is the big bottle. I've had it for a long time. I used to do UV, just UV resin jewelry until I um, found regular epoxy resin and fell in love. So now I have that UV resin on hand for different projects like this. 
Yeah, so I'm not quite sure why he's jelly. Why our jelly's jelly. But, like I said, it'll work. It'll hang. I'll just flip this back and forth to make sure it's not going to come off. It's dry. It's hard. You want to hold it up. Balance it a little bit. Make sure it's not going to come off. And there you go. There's your hangable jellyfish. You see how it got a little dark in there? I think that's from where it flash cured. We got a crack over here. So my recommendation is pour a little bit in here, let that cure, and then fill the rest of it up. Because I know the last time I did this, the first time I did it, it didn't do it, but the second time I did it, it flash cured, and this turned out brown like that. But I mean, jellyfish are brown in the middle, or white, or clear, or red. They have different colors, so I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps the algorithm put my video up in the groove so other people can see it. It's all about the algorithm, and you taking just a second to hit the like button and the subscribe button really, really helps me out. And I haven't talked about this in a while, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. It's a good time to do it. I'm doing a giveaway for those who like and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing this giveaway. It's Just Resin Ocean Basic Pack of Pigment Paste. And it comes with Titanium White, Dark Turquoise, Reef, Lagoon, Bermuda Bay, and Beige. I accidentally ordered two of these. So I have my set. And the other set, rather than sending it back, I thought I'd do a giveaway for subscribers. So again, all you have to do is hit like, hit subscribe, but you have to send me a comment to let me know that you liked and subscribed. I don't know if you subscribed unless you tell me. There's not something on my side that says, Joe Blow, subscribe today. Unless you have a channel yourself, it doesn't tell me who subscribed. So it's very, very important if you're taking the time to do the like and subscribe and you want to get your number from me then you have to send me a comment and once I've gotten once I've gotten your comment I'll send you a number and that number will be yours until we do the giveaway and the giveaway once I get to a thousand subscribers I know that may seem overzealous or very unrealistic but I'm hoping and I have faith that I will get there and at that time, I'm going to use the number generator to generate the winner out of all the numbers that I've given out. And to date, I'm at 237 subscribers within two months. So I think we might be getting there. It may take a little while. And I said before that if it just doesn't look like I'm going to get to 1,000 people and this has just gone on and on and on, then I'll go ahead and call it. And I'll call it with the number of people I have subscribed. And I have written down everybody's name and their number, not phone number, but their number for generate, to be generated. So I'm keeping track of it. And I really hope you'll take a moment to subscribe and like and get your chance in to win this wonderful present, gift, giveaway. So that's all I'm going to end with today. I'd like to say thank you very much for joining me with another video. And I hope to see you back here again. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Hey everybody, I know I already said bye, but I was reviewing the video and I wanted to say one thing to clarify a couple things. When something flash cures, it flash cures because the resin is so deep. So if you don't have a deep casting resin, then it's going to flash cure like that. I think my resin is uh, for a quarter of an inch or smaller. I will have to, or a quarter inch or less I will have to research that a little better and let you know it's normally does fine for all of my castings this one that's just a little deep it did flash cure and the other thing I should have known right offhand the reason it's jelly or spongy is because I went over the 10% ratio of color to resin so that's why it's cured like this I just wanted to come back and tell you those two facts so you'll know Thank you. Bye.